first of all you need to open your eclipse or whatever id you have then you open it i have eclipse so i open my eclipse id so let's start how to send the mail first of all you first of all you need to create a project which types of project you need to create you need to create a dynamic web project because we using the server client and server both so here need to use the dynamic web project so you need to open the dynamic web project after that you need to mention the project name so i write there jsp mail anything which you like to write there then you check it the uh, your target runtime which uh, which server you have so select it i have the tomcat 8.0 so i will select it the tomcat 8.0 and dynamic module is 3.1 then you select here we select the web.xml so it's need to create it first of all you paste the library file here okay so i have the library file just i copy it and then i will paste here okay java x mail dot yeah. I will paste here next one is uh, we need to create a two JSP pages okay so you right click on the web content and go in the menu menu options and select the JS, JSP file okay and you write there index dot JSP so my index page will be appeared here okay so let's uh, write here step by step so follow this step just i taking background color after that you create form you need to mention the action class that means when you submit when you click the button then where they redirect and what is the action follow when you mention any other pages the action just like uh, sending mail just like uh, retrieving the information uh, updating the information creating the information whatever you write there that uh, that page uh, that form is sending the action on mention mention pages so i write mention here mail process so we use that mail process dot jsp if you use method then you use the get or post if you using the form then you using the post if you want to get then you can use it but they have the difference between get uh, get method and post method i will describe it later where i want to send the message so we write the we are taking input type text and here is mandatory to assign the name of that field because it is the retrieved by uh, request.get parameter so i write here name equal to mail if you put some values then you write there after that you mention the subject and here also the name mention the name because you talk about it name equals to whatever you want to write there 
just like subject after that one message box can be create so after that we need to create a mail process because here we write that mail process or jsp so you need to create the mail process or jsp page dot jsp first of all you create a string result where you show the result so you need to create here then after get all the fields from index page request dot get parameter string type subdate request and you write the field name mail why i write the field name mail because in index.jsp you assign the two option the two option name is mail so you write here mail okay okay this is the my first step to getting the all the parameters from the index pages so we completed the all the parameters after that after that you need to mention the senders email id email id define define the gmail host gmail host is smtp gmail dot host okay after that you need to you need to create the property object you need to define the properties like uh, port port number like uh, which types of protocol you use like uh, user, username password these all the fields will be mandatory so here you need to define the properties why you need to assign the 587 as a port number because we through the value of a start tls uh, enable the start tls here so it's uh, need to assign the 587 okay so this is the completed uh, properties uh, and description this is the defined part of the property where you uh, put the value uh, put the arguments uh, in the property class by using the property object so the next step is authorize the session object so here you need to assign the here you need to assign the session objects okay because we already defined the property uh, property class by the help of uh, put method okay so here you need to assign the and uh, authorize the session object okay you write here and you create a new authenticator okay authenticator is a constructor here when the server match your password which is provided by you if they true then this return the password authentication from and pass that means the from is your email id and pass is your passwords the next step is
create a default MIME object. Create a default MIME object. Okay. Just taking the message uh, as an object of MIME message class. And then you create new MIME message. And you pass the mail session, this one. You pass the mail session here. Okay. Recipient type. Then two. Here is a lot of option to CC, BCC, which is uh, we used already in the mail. So here need to define two. Okay. After that, here you create a new internet address. You choose internet address. This one. And you pass the value which come from index.jsp and close it so set the subject because we already set the two options so we need to set the subject so mm, this MIME part is completed so what we need next uh, step we need uh, in the next step to send the message we need in the next step to send the message how can you send the message you use the transport class so let's see here send the message transport dot send what send message what is the message message is a object of MIME class result equals to mail sign successfully mail process coding part just after that uh, if you want to display your message on the web so you can use that like HTML tag title put the result okay that's one it is finished what we do we first of all you uh, get the parameter from the index.jsp and then after we assign your email id and password here whatever you have yeah it depends on you you write here and then you creating a host uh, assigning a host smtp.gmail.host and after that you creating a properties class which is like a uh, object as a pros and all the properties will be put uh, on by the help of the properties object so you uh, put here and then uh, you need to authorize the mail session so you use the session to get an instance and uh, authenticator to uh, uh, authorize the sessions after that in try catch block because uh, maybe the it generate the exception miami class where which uh, uh, object name is message so and you pass the mail session which is the uh, which is the part of session uh, authorization part so you pass here and then after you set the from that means uh, where you want to send the email what is the address of mail which is uh, given by the user so you pass there to to is the part of uh, uh, which uh, you get the parameter from the index.jsp case so here you pass the two and then after you set the subject uh, uh, by the help of MIME message object and also you set the text file 
uh, me double s g which is the taken by the index for uh, index dot s g pages so you set here and after setting the mim messages then you need to send the uh, message uh, send the message by help of the transport method the send uh, method is used to send the message what is the message message is your mime class object so where you assign and set all the values and fields so you use the uh, message here so uh, the output of result is mail sent successfully in result which is assigned in the string so uh, this is the successful message and after if uh, your address is not valid uh, or something wrong in your program and code so it's generate the error value which is the unable to send the message okay so after that lastly you just uh, write a three lines code uh, of html using html tag to showing the your uh, result and your output on the web page so let's run this program you check it go and run run on the server next finish so here you click on the send button what happened in send button when we clicking the send button it sent to the supports for all at gmail.com the subject will be showing here a high testing and this is one for the testing purpose this all the contents will be shown in your mail where you send whatever you uh, mail, uh, email id use uh, it depends on you so i just click it so mail sent successfully that means my mail is uh, sent successfully to the um, person support SVP, SVPRT for all SVPRT for all at the red gmail.com my mail sending successfully just uh, i open my mail here is so look like this is one for testing purpose okay high testing subject is high testing and the message is this is for testing person uh, purpose so let's once again try once again i write here message something other else mail to others using gsp okay just test it here also you see that the mail sent successfully go the email id and refresh yes hello friends this is the video for sending mail to the to others using gsp